Welcome to the Eldorado County District Attorney's Office Cold Case Homicide Series. I'm Investigator Dave Stevenson, where each month we'll be featuring one of our over 60 cold case homicides and asking you, the public, to help us solve a cold case homicide. District Attorney Vern Pearson recognized that Eldorado County had almost double the amount of cold case homicides as other counties in our area that are twice our size. And in 2013, District Attorney Pearson formed the county's first Cold Case Homicide Task Force. The task force is comprised of seasoned detectives from the South Lake Tahoe Police Department and Eldorado County Sheriff's Department. The District Attorney's Office complements the task force by providing experienced investigators and two Deputy District Attorneys who are tasked with the prosecution side of the case. The team has also added a Department of Justice Criminal Forensic Analyst who's tasked with analyzing new DNA that's obtained in the cases. Funding for the analyst is provided for by Proposition 69 money that allows fees to be collected as criminal penalties. This room behind me is known as the murder room. It's one of the many locations in the county that store cold case homicide reports and files. Investigators from the task force painstakingly go through and reevaluate cases for potential new witnesses and suspects. Our first cold case homicide segment this month is the double homicide of two women who lived and worked in the South Lake Tahoe Basin. Their bodies were discovered less than four miles from the district attorney's office. In January 1982, 25-year-old Julie Shaosho was living in the South Lake Tahoe Basin area, along with her co-worker, 27-year-old Marilyn Putt, who was living with her 5-year-old son, Jason. Both women lived in and around the area of Los Angeles and Bellevue Street of South Lake Tahoe. Both women worked as blackjack dealers at the Harris Casino at State Line. On the late night of January 12, 1982, both women had gotten off of work, and as so many of the employees did, they frequented the Rendezvous Lounge inside of Harris. This is the last place the women were seen alive. Though numerous tips and possible sightings of the women were reported and followed up on by police, no trace of the women were found and as if they vanished. On June 6, 1982, Marilyn Putt's body was located just a half a mile down the South Fork of the American River from Chili Bar. Her lifeless body was located by a recreational rafters. And one month later on July 9th, Julie Schauschild's body was located. To investigators, it was determined, without a doubt, both women were the victim of a homicide. It was apparent the suspects took the victims and place them in the river in an attempt that their bodies never to be found. Remember, the friends and family never forget, and neither should we.